In the video, the baking soda is poured into a flask of vinegar. When the, vinegar, when the baking soda and the vinegar react, the balloon is inflated because of the CO2 production. Then, once the balloon, once the balloon inflates, the car is tipped and, push, and eventually pushes the car down the track. When the baking soda and vinegar react, the change in entropy and enthalpy is greater than zero. And since entropy is a bigger factor, the reaction is spontaneous. When the balloon inflates with carbon dioxide, it applies a force to the car, which then pushes it down the ramp. So here we start with the balance equation of acetic acid and baking soda is produced through these products. So we need to make <coughs> we need to make 300 milliliters CO2 so our balloon will inflate to tip the car. So we start with the balloon, move across the stoichiometry diagram, and find out that to calculate how much CO2 we need, 300 milliliters, we need 1.13 grams of baking soda. Now all we need left is vinegar. So to produce 300 milliliters of carbon dioxide, as we move across the stoichiometry table, we end up needing 15.9 milliliters of vinegar and 1.13 grams of baking soda to get our 300 milliliters of carbon dioxide. Salt water is an electrolyte solution. Because salt water is an electrolyte solution, it'll produce electricity. When the battery falls in the salt water, electrons from the anode will move to the LED light where it will light it up. After moving to the light, it will go back to the cathode and become positive cations and then move back to the anode where it will be negative anions.